Hello, everybody. Sorry if you were expecting Chris Dorner, but you've got me two days in a row. Um, you're going to be absolutely sick of the sight of me. And I'm still working on the piece behind that I worked on yesterday. So um, I'm Connie from Faf Designs. I'm a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint. And I stole Chris Dorner's slot. Not really. So she um, she got held up and she couldn't make her life slot. So I am helping a sister out. I'm here. And I'm going to be doing just a short live with you today. I'll go over what I've done behind because I realised that um, I'm on a different day. I'm on a different time to what I usually am. So a lot of you may not have caught my live yesterday on the piece behind. So it's a piece of... Um, pine antique pine it's a commission job and um oh if you haven't gathered i am in the uk i am a new brand ambassador for dixieville paint so hello to you all um piece behind it's a commission for a lovely returning customer he has a really funky eclectic taste so we've gone a bit wild with it which is suits me down to the ground so <coughs> What I have done on the white panels, the two white panels, in preparation for some decoupage, is I have used two coats of white boss. That, um, the reason for that is because they were a pine ply, and I didn't want any bleed through coming through onto my decoupage at a later date. I also wanted a white background so that when I decoupage over the top of that, the colours from the brand new rice paper from Dixieville Paint, um, they won't bleed through um, so the colour won't be, be shown through the rice paper. So I'll quickly show you what the rice papers are that I'm going to be using. Oh, there's the tongue depressor. I lost it earlier. Um, <coughs> hello to everybody that joins me today that can't usually see me live because my normal live slot is some crazy time in the US like early early 6am or something crazy so hi um Chris Dorna got held up she can't be here um with you today um so I stole her slot I was like I'll do it <laughs> I'll help her sister out and I'll do it so um I've got my new Dixie Bell swag I'm here I'm kitted out put a bit of makeup on, so I thought I may as well just jump on. So this is the paper that we are going for on the white panels. This is the brand new Birds decoupage paper from Dixie Bell, and it's beautiful. Um, I've got one open here, let me show you. I love this paper so this is the paper as you can see it's see-through <coughs> slightly so you can see what's behind um so that's my reason for painting the panels white um i am always stealing people's spaces laura <laughs> i'm a thief um so that's why i've gone white the background of the paper is white if I was to say go behind here with a blue or a black, that would affect the colours that you see on the paper, the design. So that's why I've gone white, if that makes sense. And I've used Boss because, like I say, it was a pine um, plywood and pine. I am back a lane. Woohoo! Um, it was a pine ply type stuff. Didn't want to take any risks. I'll be using Gator Hide to decoupage this but not today. Sorry, I'm not there yet. I am doing this cabinet on a series of lives. So if you want to follow the progress of it, pop it over to my Facebook page, which should be tagged above my head, which is Faf Designs. Faf Designs. Sorry, I know I'll say it really quickly. Um, and I am going to be live on my Facebook page, decoupaging this tomorrow at 1 p.m uk time so I'm, I'm doing it slightly later so that it, you guys aren't get having to like catch me on the replay and it's not too early for you guys in the us because i know 
I know my usual 11 a.m. is something like 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. over there, which is silly. Early. I mean, who wants to be up at that time of the morning looking at this? I wouldn't if I were you. So that's basically where I'm at with this piece. The next step that I am doing, I'll bring you a little bit closer. The next step that I am doing is a colour wash. So I just started this on my page. So um, I'm kind of repeating myself a little bit here. So if anybody has just hopped over from my page to here, apologies about that. But I had to help Chris Dorner out. I've got to help her sister out. So you can see here that this colour on the framework is Peacock. That's a gorgeous, bright, bluey, tealy colour. Um, which is this one here. There we go. That's Peacock. Don't judge me. The lid's not on properly. I only just finished with it. So that's that's Peacock. That's what the main piece is painted with. My customer saw a piece that I'd previously painted in um, a particular finish that he asked for. So. The reason for this is because I think in the decoupage papers you can pick up the colours peacock, antebellum blue, so we're kind of going picking up on that sort of bluey vibe. And the piece that I'd refinished previously was finished in peacock. Hi Isabella, hello. It was finished in peacock and it had an antebellum blue wash over the top. What that does, it sort of knocks the peacock down a little bit and the wash almost acts like a little bit of a glaze so it sits in all the dings and the crevices and it adds a little bit of tone to an otherwise flat paint finish so that's what we're going to do today i'm going to spin this round so that you can see the flat piece that i'm going to be working on might help if i actually stood up for this instead of perching on my new wheelie stool um right there we go hopefully you can see that um i hope it's going to be amazing um and i really hope it's going to be amazing um only time will tell so all a wash of paint is hang on a sec let me scooch over here um, I've got the remnants of what I was doing earlier left in this pot, so I will use this pot again. You're going to need some kind of rag or paper towel, um, ideally something that's not going to shed or oh, disintegrate as you load it with product. So I use this one, which I buy off Amazon, and it's a really heavy duty, it almost feels like fabric because I don't want bits coming off in the paint. You're going to need your antebellum blue and you're going to need some water in my skanky water jug. This is the jug that I use to wash my paintbrushes in, so don't judge. Right, so I'm going to plop some, anti like I said, I've already done this wash on the other side. So I'm going to plop some antebellum blue in there. I'm going to add some water. And I'm going to use my backup tongue depressor, which is actually a transfer stick. Um, I've got tons of these, so I'm going to use it because I've just run out of tongue depressors. I just had to order some more off eBay, which is ever so slightly annoying. I hate running out of stuff. So I'm just going to mix it up. And it's basically a watered down version of paint, antebellum blue. That's the consistency. Really, really watery. Sorry if you can hear background noise. Someone's just decided to strike a strimmer up. Don't they know that I'm doing a live? I've got the door open. Is it really annoying? Do you want me to close the door? Let me know if you want to, me to shut the door. You can hear his petrol strimmer. So, <clears throat> there we go. That's all it is. So mix it up really good until you've just got a watered down version of antebellum blue. That's all it is. I'm gonna pop that to one side because I'm probably gonna lose it. 
Is the background noise annoying you? Or am I loud enough to drown him out? Hopefully I'm loud enough to drown him out. So, the rice paper, um, oh, you can't hear any noise, oh, that's good. I can hear a really annoying petrol mower or chainsaw or something. Um, rude. So, um, the rice paper is available to purchase now. If you click on the link above my head, you can either find a local retailer or you can go on the Dixie Bell website and order that now. That's available along with the brand new transfers that are out. You can order those as well. Um, and this bad boy, this is relatively new. So this is called Best Dang Brush because it is the Best Dang Brush. It's amazing. It's really versatile. You can do speed painting with this. It's a bit blue because I've just done a colour wash on my own Facebook page with this. So it's got a really good surface area for you to cover some serious speed painting with, some surface area quickly. Um, you can use it for waxing. You can use it for Big Mama's Butter. You can use it for blending. It's brilliant for blending. So if you didn't see my piece from a couple of weeks ago, um, it was a red sideboard that I blended Midnight Sky in with a couple of reds. And I used this brush just for blending, just one brush, that's all I used. Um, that's available on my blog. Um, if you go to my website, which is available, uh, the link's available on my on my own Facebook page. So <clears throat> this brush is really, really versatile, really good value for money. Um, I absolutely love it. But today I'm going to be using it for a colour wash. So you've got your watered down antebellum blue in your takeaway pot. <laughs> Recycling at its best. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to get some on my brush. Like that. And I'm going to paint straight over the peacock. So you'll be able to see the antebellum blue going over. Obviously, this isn't sealed, so the peacock is unsealed, and <clears throat> what that does, it absorbs some of the antebellum blue. So you need to work quite quickly, otherwise you will end up with antebellum blue, basically, which we don't want. I want peacock, but I want a bit of antebellum blue. And the more paint that you put in the mix, the, the darker the colour is going to be of the wash, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to put that to one side really quick, put the brush down there. You're going to need that, you're going to need that. So keep it wet, don't let it dry out, because that's when you will have an antebellum blue project instead of a peacock project. Right, loads and loads of water. Grab your shop towel or your rag, anything as long as it doesn't shed or disintegrate on your piece, because you don't want to be picking bits of cloth out of your piece. And I'm just removing the majority of the antebellum blue with this. <clears throat> obviously the rag gets wet quite quickly so if you just keep turning it over to the dry area and you can do as many colour washes as you like you can keep going with this you can almost take it back to peacock um, but just remember you do have to work relatively quickly and somebody on my page just hit the nail on the head it's basically adding depth and tone without using wax or a glaze. And the beauty of it is the possibilities are endless. So you can basically do this with any colours. I'm using antebellum blue. So like I say, it's a commission piece. Um, and my customer specifically asked for these colours that he saw on another piece that I did. Um, But you could do it with a massive variety of colours and it just adds 
tone and depth to the piece without without the need for any waxing or anything so the best thing to do is just keep playing around with it you don't need to rub too hard because you'll start removing the paint and this is just sitting in all the little sort of dings um, and the wood grain because this is pine so it's sort of sitting in here you might not be able to pick it up on the camera it might not be obvious enough um, that's a squeaky stool by the way promise so I'm just taking the majority of it back And like I say, you can do this as many times as you like. If you wanted to go darker again, you could add more antebellum blue over the top and another wash. Can you see it's starting to just add a little bit of tone to it um hopefully you can see on the camera it looks actually it looks more exaggerated on the camera than it does in real life but you can start to see the areas that i've left around here are deeper in tone than here it's so subtle but it's a really really nice way of adding a little bit of contrast and depth to a really flat surface because this is quite a big old surface um, that we're doing here. Um, I am going to use Gator Hide with the rice paper, correct, I am. Um, that'll be tomorrow on my own Facebook page. So can you see if I just bring you closer, I need to take a little bit more off here where it's a bit deeper, but I can keep going with this. As long as you keep the surface damp, there's no... Um, there's no danger of it sort of drying out. And like I say, worst case scenario, if you really don't like it, you just come back in with your peacock um, and you can rectify anything that you've gone a little bit too dark on or if you don't like a particular area, you can just come back in and with your peacock and, and dry brush over the top. But it just adds, it adds a slight bit of grunge without going crazy there we go that is sort of how i want it to look um and the camera is throwing a weird light in here at the moment oh hang on there we go but can you see the darkness around here it's adding a shadow and it's just stopping it looking so flat because this piece is really, really old and rustic. And I think it's made up of loads of different pieces of pine that have been sort of chopped together to make this really, really cool, funky cupboard thing. So we're embracing the rusticness of it. We're going with it. Um, yeah, I don't have Dixie Belle on today because this should be Chris Dorner's slot. And I would ordinarily be monitoring her live. So I'm free for, for this slot and she couldn't make it. So um, if there's any questions in the comments, I'll make sure I scroll back through when the video's ended because I've had my back to you for quite a long time and I'll answer any questions then. So hopefully um, you have maybe seen something new, maybe not, just enjoyed it or whatever. So I'm doing, um, yeah, if you missed it, I can see some people saying that it's a, it's a, it's a colour wash. So the base colour is Peacock. We added antebellum blue in a container to with some water and then we've painted over the entire panel and I was in the process of wiping it back with plain old water, um, a rag or some shop cloth, anything that's not going to shed any fibres on your piece um, and 
just wipe it back until you get the effect that you want. So this is quite a subtle way of adding depth um, and tone to the piece without having to crack open any wax or any glaze. It's just a different way. And because, um, what is my Facebook page name? It should be tagged above my head. It's Faf Designs, F A F F Designs. I am a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint a new brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint, so you, you might not have seen me, my face, um, but I am I'm here instead of Chris Dorner today. So that's basically where we're at with this piece. Thanks, Jackie. <coughs> Thank you. Jackie, my um, unofficial PA, has just popped my Facebook page in the comments. Um, so that's that, basically. We're going to be keeping the pine top as is. It's been cleaned down with white spirits and I'm leaving it. Turn and show the front. Aye, aye, Captain. So the front's a bit rough because we've not colour washed it or anything. Let me spin around. I've got to be careful because I've got water on the top of here and I am clumsy. Okay, there's the front for you. This has not had a colour wash. This has had... Two coats of peacock here. It's had two coats of white boss here. And the paper that we're gonna use for decoupaging is this, which you can buy in the link above my head from Dixie Bell. So we are going in the recessed panel. There's a slight lip that runs around here. So it's, it's a, the panel is recessed. And we are going with that in the paneling. So you can see now, when I hold it up, you can see why we have gone with Peacock and Antebellum Blue, because it just picks up on those really, really vibrant colours in the decoupage paper. Can you see? So I see, we, when we looked at it, we see here Peacock, we see here Antebellum Blue. I mean, you could have gone the other way. There's so many colours in this paper. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got reds, it's got yellows, it's got pinks, it's got deeper pinks and purples. It's got a pop of green on it. It's ace, I love it. So, and then after that, after we've decoupaged the paper, we're gonna be adding a little bit more depth with some waxes. But like I say, that will be over on my Facebook page. I'm doing this over a series of lives. So hopefully you'll be able to catch me at some point. Obviously the lives will all be there on my page if you want to replay them and I do upload all of my lives onto YouTube as well if you want to pop over there <coughs> excuse me so that's all I've got for you today hopefully I have been I've, I've lived up to the expectations not quite of Chris Dorna um so yeah she she couldn't be here today but um she got held up so I jumped in a spot so um, thank you all for bearing with me, staying with me. What time tomorrow? On my own Facebook page, it will be UK time, one in the afternoon. It varies from where you are. I mean, I have people watching from Australia and America and the time difference blows my mind. So is that like eight o'clock? Eight o'clock in, in EST? Eight? Is that eight? I feel like that's eight a.m. EST, 1 p.m. UK time on my own Facebook page. I'm going to be getting my decoupage on with this. Can't wait, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to this so much. So thank you for watching today um, in place of Chris Dorna. I know I don't live up to her yet. I'm trying, I'm trying my best. She'll be here back next week, I'm sure she will. My usual time on the Dixie Bell page is 11 a.m. UK time, which is 6 a.m. EST on a Tuesday morning. So that's probably why you haven't seen me before, some of you. So, um, oh, I've also got um, a competition running on my page for some Dixie Bell paint, some, a giveaway for some paint. So get over there and enter that. Make sure you like and follow me. I am just growing my little page. So all the support means the world to me. Um, so thank you all for watching. Yeah, three lives today, Jackie. You are literally the top fan. You're my top fan. So um, yeah, I'll see you on, if I don't see you on my own Facebook page, I'll see you next week over on this page. So take care, have a glorious day and I'll see you soon. Bye.